Welcome to PCA 2024, brought to you by... walking down the side of PCA and a fella jumped out and said, Hey, I see you have a camera. Will you, uh, will you interview us? And they had a big old octopus up on the back wall. And I'm like, okay. And I got to meet two of the most amazing fellas with more energy than I've ever had. And the, and, and the great thing about it is they introduced me to my number three cigar for last year, the El Pulpo. I got it right this time. I had a hard time with it last time, yes, but they've did. got a great cigar coming out this PCA, and so I'm gonna let this gentleman talk about it. We are at Artisano del Tobacco, my friend. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming back again. We really appreciate what you guys doing for us and for this industry. So here I am, I'm gonna share with you guys, uh, if you have a moment, please, about what we have at Artisano today. For this PCA from Vegas, we're launching the next, the second two extension lines of Viva La Vida which is, uh, we are like celebrating uh, the five years anniversary for having the brand on the shelves in the States and abroad. So we were so happy to uh, come up with two sizes that we love the most, which is the Jester and also the Club 500. And we did it in a unique way. We kept, just to share this with you, we kept the blend, the filler and the binder, all Nicaraguan, eight years old. And then we went with a, a Habano, uh, Connecticut, Maduro, the okay. Scuro, uh, uh leaf, which is from the valley itself, guys. It is so, so delicious. Uh, as you see, I'm so excited about it. I'm smoking one right now, and I would love, I would love from everyone who get the chance to get their hands on one of those uh, 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 sticks, guys. It is amazing. So what we did different about it, as I said, we changed the wrapper. And we used the Connecticut Habano uh, Escuro Maduro, which make the whole thing totally different. The strength is a, a tad stronger than the original pour line, but it's cooler, it's smoother, it has a lot of body to it. And then what you, what you will find out, and I want you right now to, to smoke one after, the, the sweetness from that leaf is tremendous. You have lot of lots of, of like uh, uh, caramel sweet finish on the palate. And also another thing, when you cut the cigar before you burn it, take a dry whiff and you will see tons and tons of dry sweet figs as well. Wow. I'm so excited about it, guys. And I know I would love from you. If you smoke Viva La Vida, try the new five year anniversary Jester the Club 500. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best. Thank and when, you. And when you pick up that Viva La Vida, pick up a couple El Pupos as well, because that cigar is amazing. I'm looking forward to trying this one and, and getting into it. It says gesture, but I guarantee it's not a joke smoke. That, uh, is, that is definitely sure. it's not a joke. That's you know what? Sure. You know what? You just mentioned also El Pulpo. For the El Pulpo guys, we did a huge, huge, huge success when we launched it in April. We were so excited about it from the beginning but it was so overwhelming. The reception we got from everybody was way, way on the top. We do thank your support for the base of the Artisano del Tabaco and every cigar smoker and consumer who really, really support us and enjoy those cigars. We do thank you for your support. Please keep doing this because without you, we won't be here. We thank you so much. And I gotta tell you, out of our lists, the Artisan Hotel Tobacco El Pubo, I think was Chief's number three as well. Um, both of us hit it very high on there and our palates are a little different and still the flavor came through. It was, it was just an orchestra of deliciousness in the mouth. So fantastic and phenomenal.